hello everyone welcome back to my channel first of all i want to thank you all so much for your support to my channel thank you for your kind words and encouragement if you're new here i'm debbie and i welcome you specially if you're a returning viewer thank you so much for stopping by if you haven't subscribed to my channel already hit the subscribe button so you'll be the first to know whenever i upload a new video some of you guys dm me asking me if the only way to work in the maritime industry is by working on board a ship and in today's video i'm going to be talking about a few of the different ways you can work in the maritime industry sit tight watch till the end so you don't miss out on any important information I've had some funny experiences like when I'm having conversations with people and I tell them I'm a seafarer, they usually act surprised. Obviously, many people still do not know that females can work in the maritime industry, so I enlighten them. And if you're a female watching this video and you're not sure if you can work in the maritime industry, the answer is yes, you can. There are different ways you can work in the maritime industry. You can work on land or you can work at sea. It depends on your preference. For those who want to work on land, a couple of the maritime jobs you can take up on land include shipbuilding, where you can work as an engineer, or if you're interested in construction jobs, you can work there as well. Then you can work in a shipyard or a dry dock as an engineer, as an electrician, a painter, a welder, a carpenter. They have so many opportunities there. Then if you want to work in a port, you can work in ports as a port manager. They are in charge of maintaining communications between vessels coming in and out of the ports. There you can also work as a stevedore or as a docker. They are in charge of cargo operations. They are responsible for loading and discharging of cargo from the ship. In ports, you can also work as a driver or as a crane operator. Then there are also ship chandlers. It's more like the business side of the maritime industry. They are responsible for delivering all kinds of supplies to the vessel when she's at ports especially now with covid restrictions many crew members are not allowed to go ashore so whenever we need anything we give them detailed information of what we want and we also tell them when we'll be coming into ports and they deliver it to us when we arrive so these are a few of the different ways you can work on land in the maritime industry then for those who want to enjoy the adventures of seafarers that's those who want to work on board a ship there are also different ways to go about it you can go to a maritime academy that's a university or a college with that you get a degree and you can work on board a ship as an officer you'll be required to study in school for three four or even six years in my case i went to a maritime university where i studied for three years and after that part of the requirement from my school is that i get my sea time training which you also call cadetship for a period of 12 months in other schools the period for the sea time training might be different it might be longer or shorter depending on the requirements of the school some schools require their cadets to train for a period of six months other schools require their cadets to train for a period of 18 months after my sea time training is completed i would sit for the necessary exams obtain my license and i'll be able to work on board a ship as an officer in this phase of my sea time training i'm required to learn everything that is necessary for me to be able to work on board a ship as an officer and i do that under the guidance and the supervision of the officers on board so that is one way to go about it but what if at the moment schooling is just not your thing you probably have family and kids to take care of you just want to work and earn some money you can also work on board a ship all you need to do is to get your credentials together go for your safety training courses then you can apply to these shipping companies directly or you can apply through crewing agencies there are different positions you can apply for we have the dead department and the engine department if you want to work in the dead department you can work as an os that's ordinary seaman or as an able-bodied seaman we also call them ab for short or as a bosun the bosun is in charge of the ratings in the dead department if you want to work in the engine department you can apply as a fitter a wiper or as an oiler electricians and cooks can also work on board a ship so these are just a few of the different ways you can work in the maritime industry. The maritime industry is very broad. I hope you found that helpful. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Share this video so others can know about these different opportunities. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section and I will respond to all your questions. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.